All right, people, welcome back. More DM Do commentary. So we are joined by Mr. Forever Epic. Hello. <laughs> I don't know what that uh, was. No, what was that? <laughs> that was so bad. So uh, like usual on, here on the DM Do commentary, I like to get matches in because I like to see the siding and all of that. But uh, surprisingly, this is actually an unrated one. So uh, hopefully it'll still be entertaining. And if we still have time, we'll try to get a rated match. Uh, but we, well, we have a... What were you about to say? <laughs> They look like they know what they're yeah, doing. We have Yu-Gi-Oh! Lab Bye. here, 69. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! Lab 69. Ooh, oh, and... if it isn't the card that's about to save Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, right. <laughs> and we got a... Uh... I think this is going to be the only reason people don't lose to Triple Notice. Solemn Notice. It's, just, you, it's, it's the Infinity Notice. Like, oh, and I oh, was totally oh. right. I was <laughs> totally to right. Them. And we got uh, Planet God Star here <laughs> at 1165. And uh, we are seeing a little bit of a uh, pack here. Uh, no, <laughs> no, this is Patrick. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, no, you did not. Yes, that. you had to say it. Oh. Before Mage <laughs> Artifact Trap Trick, that's Pat. This Pat is the return of his hat and card name, Pat. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. Uh, you, there, no, you you have to destroy it minimum one. So I'm going to go ahead and message you go lab right now. We're going to get it started already. Uh, you have to destroy at least one. You have to destroy at least one. Oh, I put keist. Least one. <laughs> ah, they passed her too quick. Oh wait, no. Never. What am I saying? It's still the guy's turn. Yeah, one minimum. One minimum. It says right there. I I used to play Be Beagle Talk, and then it's like, no, you have to destroy one if you want to summon him. Is this summon effect mandatory? Don't wait. Damn it! Get out of here, fucking guitar. Uh, I don't think any of the artifacts are mandatory. Uh, it's this card. This time, uh, during your opponent's like, turn, this card is destroyed. When he's summoned, the effect is mandatory. No, it's but... mandatory. During your opponent's turn, yeah. the set card in your spell shop card is destroyed and sent to ground. Special summon it. That's mandatory. Oh. If this card is summoned during well, your opponent's now... turn. Destroy up to two set cards, minimum one. Mandatory. Both of them. So you have to summon it and you have to pop your own shit. Always read your cards, yeah. kids. The revival of the artifact just because of Scythe. <laughs> Yeah. Scythe is so annoying. Scythe is annoying. It is annoying. Uh, I'm not sure if you're uh, subscribed to Mega Capital D and his uh, terrible mess, but uh, yeah, I'm subscribed did, to did that. Did you man. see his uh, his uh, like, hey, I'm gonna be live streaming video, and he showed freaking this deck, and he's like a revival. I don't watch the actual video. I just okay. use it like I, as a notification. Actual video. He was like showing off his hat deck, and he had freaking two insta fusions, but no fusion monster in his extra deck. Oh, well. <laughs> like is that Mega Capital D? <laughs> See, this is me not sounding surprised at all. I know, I know. Meg Capital G messes up. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I. He messes up a lot, but to, it's it's entertaining enough. I subscribe to. Or, uh, I, I just let it slip. Subscribe to Nim Nim. <clears throat> okay. You didn't answer my question. Oh, what did you say? Subscribe to Nim Nim. Uh, I think so. Did you see him put up that video talking about that uh that Gormor and take it down and re put it up because he messed up. <laughs> The who? Okay, okay. It was a recent upload that he did. He did a card review on this card called something Grimoire, and he like completely fucked it up. And I like commented and I was like, "Wow!" I was like, "Yeah!" I was like, "Wow!" Getting your Mega Capital G on, and you're messing up when you read cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So, is it like a new card that's coming out? Yeah, it's a new it's is a new card that's coming out, and he thought it was really good. He thought it was better than what it really is. Like, he read oh, the effect yeah, wrong, yeah. and then he, all of a sudden he just completely got the effect wrong when he was talking about it. I was like, how, like, how do you read the card right, but then talk about it wrong? <laughs> anyway, uh, we are clearly, this is, like I said, this is uh, unrated, and when you unrated, you can play the Mochi G. We are clearly seeing some, uh, some of that full power PP. Pee -pee. Would not be surprised, so. The keyboard, the turtle, and all of that. So, versus uh, Pat here, so... Uh, people are thinking that Pat might be a, a good way of coming at uh, full power PP, but I, I just can't give it to you, really. Um, I don't see it. Uh, I mean, you have your trash. This twin twister just completely yeah. makes his deck relevant. That twin twister. In my yeah, that twin twister. And while uh, you're like, hey, you know, I have artifacts. Beware. Ooh, blue, 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 scary. I mean, just not, play, not do major plays. I'm going to hit you with that twin twister first, then do major plays. So, yeah. And as long as we have... Uh, <laughs> You know, Trick Clown and uh, Damage Juggler to pitch. You know that Twin Twister is always going to find a spot in the deck, so uh, you're going to be getting it. <laughs> Twin Twister, 
I love this card. I love and hate this card. I don't think, like, I don't think it's going to be too expensive. Maybe like five, hopefully five to not. seven dollars. I mean, I think. I'm not really going to try and buy it anyway. I don't buy cards. I only, I've had the same trades in my binder for like two years. <laughs> I just get all the stuff I need and just try and keep it up to date and then. Uh, majority but. of the time, how I get my how I how I used to obtain my Yu-Gi-Oh cards, uh, I would literally just uh, get money off of YouTube, save it up into my PayPal, and then <laughs> purchase cards. <laughs> That's hey, whatever works, you right? Know, I, mean, I don't make <laughs> as much as the big YouTubers, but you know, after a couple months of saving, I make enough to get a, a card or two. Uh, well, a couple cards. So I should definitely totally do that, <laughs> but I'm too lazy to get with partner. Yeah, like I have the option too. I think. Mm -hmm. Um, to monetize or whatever, but eh, too much work. I mean, I could like I could really just sit down and do it in an afternoon. I mean, I mean but... I'm no DPY Geo, definitely not. You know, I'll, I'll be the first one. To... <laughs> what gives you that idea? Yeah, I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be the first one to tell you get ad blocker. I don't care. I don't care. Don't click none of my ads. Get ad blockers. They're annoying. <laughs> ads are gonna take all the world. Do you not learn anything from South Park? <laughs> <laughs> What is happening right now? I don't even know what the hell is happening. Nothing. It just seems like Yu-Gi-Oh! Lab it's... has no idea what Planet God is doing, and they're just talking. I don't think anything has happened in, like, five minutes. Seriously. Like, unless you guys are completely entertained by what we're just talking, then I apologize. I apologize. And if we have to go and leave to get a new duel, then so be it. But I really want to see this actually be a match, especially with the decks are playing. Because I want to see how Pepe is going to go ahead and handle this. Uh, with Trap Tricks, uh, Mermelio being able to search up that space-time trap hole and being able to fuck you up good. And uh, Artifact Scythe being able to get you. And, uh, and uh, of course, Perform Ages just being Perform Ages. Like, I want to see it. You know? Quick, you can bust out that Rafisha... That Raf... Raf... Ra ra what was it? Raf... Ra ra uh, ratchet? I think ratchet. that's her name. <laughs> ratchet. <laughs> Quick, you can bust out that Ratchet. She's clearly wearing a weave, right? I mean, that seems like a pretty legit play. Just bust out the Romelio, get to search, then have another level four, bust out that, and go into uh, Ratchet, too. Like, Oh, look! Something happened! Finally. What is this? <laughs> I mean, Wizard is obviously going to be uh, three. Wow. Oh, okay. well, obviously, I'll it's play, bottomless. Like, I just don't... Hello? <laughs> Main decking Joel and Logbird. Haven't seen that since Spellbook and Judgment. Are we even in game one? Are we in game one? I, uh, it pop, we have, we have to, to be, be in game one. one. There's no reason to keep this card in. We have to be in game there one. There's no reason no. to keep that card in. Because I, so I hopped in as soon as the duel started. I was like, oh, this should be interesting. And, and there's okay. no way that this guy could, his opponent could be so lost if it just wasn't game one. Uh, I mean, you're definitely, if you want to play the full power people, you're, gonna, you're definitely going to have to get three wizards. So I can, e I can see wizards easily being like 40, 50 bucks. Is it a secret? Uh... <laughs> you only need one infinity, you're, you're, unless you're playing straight up like infinity dot deck with the actual machines like that. Uh, you only yeah. need one because you're not gonna do. I actually would rather play against infinity dot deck than a lot of these other decks. Damn. <laughs> so at least there's like a super solid way to beat it. This... Cyber Dragon. Yeah, this this deck they, they just go <laughs> hella plus, just to go hella plus. So it's ridiculous. Uh, oh, and you know how um how I always say just run kaijus. It seems that Mr. DP Yigo has been you know preaching that too. So I just want to let everyone know I said it first. Yeah, they could be hopping on that uh, that XC's on kaijus and everything. Tech three kaiju and everything. I would I wouldn't main deck it. I would side it. Main deck. Side deck. Side main deck. deck. <laughs> If you if you want some main deck infinity hate, I'd say break new skill. Yeah, but you have to wait a whole turn. What you have to do is break new skill something and then break this and then they'll be in your graveyard during your turn. Because unlike Xy's encore, where you're gonna huh? next turn. But that's during your next turn. That's what do you mean? That's too long. You set the break through skill and either either it's set when the infinity goes off and you'll have it, and, or it'll be in the graveyard. You banish it and get the infinity in hand. Well, I'm assuming that your opponent made it first turn, like. Yeah, I mean, if your opponent busts out first turn, then you're still screwed. Not a lot of decks can do that, though. So, I guess. <laughs> so, it really depends. It really depends. Like, if you're just absolutely terrified of the Pepe and it's absolutely tier zero, then yeah, go ahead and go with the main deck, Kaiju's uh, Kai It's also good against Cosmos, so. That is a thing. So, yeah. You're... I, I think the troll in me just likes Kaiju's. 
I never liked Lava Golem, so pretty much in the same exact boat for me. <laughs> and this duel is it's going really weird, like really weird. So he's gonna go ahead and actually into cast out just to put the. I think we're still in turn two. Yeah, this is still turn two. We are ten minutes into this video. Oh my god, ten fucking minutes, people. Oh, and this is game one of a three game. Oh, well, I don't think <laughs> oh it's going to go to game three. Unless there's absolute hate when it comes to... Uh, that yeah, and a Chariot Beast is coming, oh, yeah, so... Yeah, the Chariot Beast is coming. Wow, <laughs> this is going to go to game three. That top deck show. Whew, he <laughs> oh, ripped man. it like a son of a bitch. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's also another uh, incentive to go Set ahead and that play notice. them. Uh, Set that notice. <laughs> to play them... Uh, Oh, you know it'd be really dirty what? if he ran double the Chariot Beast and he top decked into another level four. Earth. I mean, what does he have? Like what what, what no. does he possibly have? He can't play his Pentrum scales. He can't play Rebecca. I mean, he can exceed, I guess. How? How can he get two monsters in the field? I don't know. Exactly. Like, mm. well, there's a will. There's a he way. Just have some background, and you know we know that there's not a lot of background here. Oh, ah, see, there, there it is. Go. There we go. We see that powerful hat tricker on both sides. Both sides, people. Both sides. So, yep. That, now that's I game. Guess, so he, I would go 101 like, good here. Shit, good shit. If they have 101. Depends. That's true. Probably, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Dark Rebellion. That way, Dark Rebellion would actually be the best choice. Because then if you even bust out another Nechiria Beast, you can't run it over. Like, you can run over a 101 or a Castell. Yeah. Or that. Uh, or well, that. I guess that works. Probably going to search the scale. Either the scale or a mass chameleon. Yeah, he's just going to draw. And there's a scoop face. Yeah. Okay. Oh, a gigabyte. Yeah. Okay. So now let's see the hate shape that flows <coughs> in, in Yugi Lab's uh, <laughs> deck. Are we going to say, oh, wow. Oh, so nobody sided. All right, so that was game one. Good. So you're keeping Joel and Lockbird. And you, well, I guess it's unrated. So. Yeah, I guess he doesn't care. Maybe he just absolutely doesn't have a side deck prepared. Maybe he's just test deck, testing yeah. his main deck. Like, what's up with the drill and Lockbird? Like, I really understand, like, where you're going with that. Uh, brilliant? Okay, so, brilliant. <laughs> uh, uh, Patrick. Shining um, Patrick Star. I think he's trying too much now. Uh, I don't know. I feel like he's trying to put too much in one deck. I'm gonna actually, I'm actually gonna call his deck Patrick Star. I have a pencil. Well, he is using rocks. It ends in a point. Pointy, 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 pointy. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny, Bob. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't <clears> remember <throat> what someone called it. I think, I think Meg Cabot G called it new hat, but no, I, I can call it hat without any hands. Nah. And someone called it cat because it's clowns, but I was like, no, they, they're called performage. Like it's clown blade because it focused around <laughs> trick clown and thousand blade, so that's different. So no, this is performage <laughs> artifact trap trick. That's pat. It's clearly pat. No, this is Pat. <laughs> Trick. <laughs> is this the Krusty Krab? <laughs> like, it, it, so he's not going to activate the Foolish Burial. So now his opponent knows he has yeah, one. Now he has one. So. Where did you get Jig? Oh, did you get Jig? Yeah. See, that's why you don't scoop extra quick. Extra quick. <laughs> Cause I thought he was, I thought he had Oh, wait, nope. Wrong person's talking. Might be. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what he's trying to... Did he get Gigabyte? I didn't see that. I don't I don't remember what he got. I wasn't paying I think he's confusing it with last game. Okay. So we got... Got Hat Tricker. Right yeah, that's what he searched. Okay. Because I, I wasn't really paying attention. Not enough to... Uh, Ask me as a witness. I wasn't paying attention enough. I just assumed that he got what he was supposed to get. Yeah, he did. I, I, he I didn't like that. That was a little uh, okay. Crazy. Well, I guess so. he needs some glasses because they don't look anything wow. alike. Wow. Wow. He's a nicer man than me. He revealed his entire fucking hand. That that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, Shit. Sets three mind crush. Yeah. He's a big, he's a bigger man than me. I've been like, you know what? No, you didn't see no jig, and if you don't believe me, fuck it. We're an unrated. You can't call that admin, so fuck you. Yep. Foolish. I wonder if he's running if he's running the you know the foolish and the and the one for one and everything, so Probably. Foolish plus one for one equals three chances to open glow up yep. 
So we see Guava Ball Beast with effects, so it's about to summon Hat Tricker, and we're just going to see the first turn uh, Nichiria Beast. So. Or a Trish. Or can he go Trish and Nichiria Beast? Mm, no. No, nah, I don't just think just use Guava so. effect. You don't get that effect on Spindle. I don't know. So he has a choice between Trish beast. and that Beast. Beast. Boy. I would honestly have not even summoned both of those. Yeah. So he only summoned one. <clears throat> he hasn't normal summoned this turn, has he? Uh, I think... He, no, he... Yeah. Well, he has two normal summons, but he still has, yeah, both, he has, left. has both left. So. Uh, does it say normal summon slash set? Or... Oh my god, what are you doing? You get two normal summons. <laughs> oh, he said an artifact? <laughs> that's definitely that's an artifact. That's definitely an artifact. <laughs> or one of them's an artifact, so we don't know which one it is. So I think I think the artifact engine is just kind of cute. Like uh, we already saw from DPYGO, if if uh, okay, well we obviously know what that card is. Uh, if it wasn't for Scythe, it wouldn't there wouldn't even be the revival of artifacts. Like you just don't have the bite that you used to have, especially with no with only one morale attack. Like that's just a sweat yeah. off your back. One morale attack, that's it. So, all right, deal with that one morale attack, and I'm I'm sailing, I'm coasting. Wow. Okay, so now it's one one. One one. one. He's just probably couldn't out the net he's beast. Like, I can't handle the beast. I can't handle it. The beast is too strong. So, <laughs> the beast is strong. The beast is the beast is too beast. The beast the beast. <laughs> uh, so, so you definitely think uh, a little bit of the hate and anti meta. Um, as I said, uh, it's January right now. Uh, I'll be having my uh, final ban list talk. If you guys have been a subscriber for me for a cool minute, you guys know final final ban list talk. Why is it called that? Because it's not, not the final one? I don't know. I, it, I named it the first time, and then it just stuck. <laughs> and then I'll be doing my banners prediction, uh, hopefully, February 1st. I always like to get my my list, my list predictions out a month early that I when I think the list is going to be. Just so when they start searching. Because I think that they're gonna start, people are going to start searching for balance predictions around February. Get all them views. <laughs> oh, okay. Get all them views, fuck it up. All them views. Hey, hey I'll let you in on a secret. Uh, mine's going up tomorrow, though. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead and put yours up tomorrow, because then you can go ahead and help yeah. me and see if I'm missing anything. <laughs> I don't even know where I would start, to be honest. Like, obviously Pepe, but yeah. after that, eh. I don't see a real reason to hit Cosmo. You're not hitting Cosmos. You know? They're not hitting like, Cosmos until Cosmos come out and and until they're not the, the cash cow. Like, like how long did it take freaking yeah. uh, Burning Vist to get hit directly? Oh, too long. Exactly, <laughs> too long. So, nah, nah. Cosmos are fine. Cosmos are strong, but they're fine. You know, they just need to clean up a little bit of Pepe. Oh, you know what I do see happening though? Rekindling to three. All right, you keep thinking. Hopefully, that. You keep thinking <laughs> I have that. hope. It's gonna happen. It seems like at, it seems like at this point, uh, just OCG. I mean, OCG. TCG Konami doesn't want to deal with any of that hacky shit. Like could they could they could they give six samurai their gateway back? Yeah, they could. Are they? Nah. Okay, no that's shit. different though. Gateway's broken. It could stay banned forever. Infinite loops. No, no thanks. I mean, the stupid shit that you do with your freaking flame veils and <laughs> and your uh, your rekindling. Did Multiple but did anybody ever complain about flame veils? Yeah, uh, people would complain about that first turn infinity. I know that. So, I mean, well, infinite is different. Like, holy shit! I'm so the thing was, I just called Quasar. <laughs> holy shit! They're pretty much the same thing. In, okay, but here's the reason it's different. Because rekindling targets, they all suck. So when you draw them, you just lose. So that's the balance. Where like infinity, all the monsters you used to make infinity are good. So you don't really lose hit? if like, you drop. Did, did rekindling get hit in that big sweep of uh, September 2013? Yeah, yeah, that's. That's why Dragon Ruler format's my favorite format. It was the last format my deck got to exist. Plus, I didn't lose to Dragon Rulers. It was all about that spellbook. I hated spellbooks. You know, people still think that spellbook of judgment could come off ban to this day. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I read the card. Yeah? Well, then you should know why it should stay there like, forever. Like, you got three fate. Like, what more could you fucking ask for? You know, I, I specifically remember... When it was announced, and then when it was at three, people were all like, Konami would never ban this card. And I'm like, so how much crack have you done today? <laughs> <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> have you read this card? Do you? That card is the only reason it was on par with Dragon Rollers. And we all know how strong Dragon Rollers are. 
which means that Spellbook of Judgment is equal to all the dragon rulers combined. Yep. Like, really? Really? Well, Judgment and Fate. I can't ignore Fate. And Jogging and Spellbook time. But, but you wouldn't have got all them pluses and all those well, spellbooks. Well, Kaito and were, like, interchangeable. Yeah. The, the Grand Hall? Star, oh, Star, yeah, Star Hall? Hall. Star Hall. See, I remember I made a, a Spellbook Exodia deck, and I the goal was to actually summon the pieces, but they'd have, like, 3,000 attack each because of Star mm -hmm. Hall. And just punch you in the face with fucking Exodia's left nipple. Like, you ain't ready. <laughs> yeah. I really did win a game attacking with Exodia pieces. It was awesome. No. I'm still working on the balance prediction. You should be getting it up soon. I can go ahead and give you a hint. I have two cards banned. Two. So, if you guys want to go ahead and guess. So, uh, let's let's see. Um, I'm going to guess either Instant Fusion or Norden. Probably Norden and Pital Miles. You got one right. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell. So instant. I'm not gonna tell. I'm not gonna tell you which one you got right, but you got one right. Oh, okay. Well, I can definitely see those ones happening. I wouldn't be surprised. Those are like the most predictable ones anyone could call. Um, nor something happened in Norden, something happened in Infinity. <clears throat> Honestly, on my end, I'd probably limit notice. Of course, of course. Like. It's it's one thing for Norden to come out and give an offensive boost, but it's another thing for Notice to come out and just not let any deck play the game. <clears throat> I don't know. It comes down to would you rather get FTK'd or would you rather just spend 30 minutes not being able to play, you know? What is, like, is, are we still on turn one? Yes. Oh, my Planet God. Planet God is lagging like crazy, apparently. Got that booty oh my that. god, this is so bad. <laughs> Wait, so you're going to turn into a Durandal or something? Like, I don't understand. Cause you, I'm assuming you're going to attach during the, the end phase and then detach three for a Pleiades or a Durandal? Like, I don't understand where you're going with this. I think he's going to wait. You think he's going to put three on and then wait to see if his opponent can actually kill the Patal of Miles. And if his opponent can't kill it, then he's probably just going to go Nova. That's so slow. Like, you really couldn't best out one more level four to just go into straight up, like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You don't have three. You have two. No. Uh, no. I was like, no. That was hella loud. <laughs> I hit my hand. Uh, headphone users? No, rip headphone users. No, I, I even had all the audio, so. It wasn't that loud. <laughs> wow, that's a dick move. Read your cards, kids. Wow, that is that is a dick move. Uh, so, you know what? Some of my viewers and subscribers I do not like. <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh fucking had asked one of my fucking uh I'm assuming one of my viewers. I was like on the fucking D video. Like I apologize for my misplace. I never proclaimed I'm the best D player. I mean I still won the duel, but you guys like wow, destroyed my fucking dislike button in that uh D uh the Daily Duels D D uh video yesterday. Revolution So I said I said, Wow, I know I misplayed, but at least the video was still entertaining. All the hate with that dislike bar made my viewers are critical, and then someone replied and said, "Isn't that what the whole like dislike bar is for?" Like, well, I mean, it's not to nitpick. Yeah, no, every it's not little, to nitpick every little thing. Judge the quality. I never proclaimed that I'm the fucking best shit ever. Like, if I'm fucking Patrick Hoban, I fuck up. Then yeah, sure, but what on, fucking... on Oprah's on TV. <laughs> 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 okay, it's over. It was just an ad. <laughs> head ass man he's like he's like he's like you need fucking three to use that effect and he's like i'm pretty sure you don't like nick it says right there in the car my god what <laughs> oh my god no they what? don't it's right there on the fucking card detach three <laughs> read your cards kids. wow hello hello uh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> fucking you get that message me, and he's like, "Can you tell him he needs three? I'm gonna tell him that he needs three. Like it, it, it says right there. I'll message him. Yeah, too. it says right there on the card. It's yeah, it says right there on the card that you, <laughs> card detach three. I just wrote it in Watchers chat. Yeah, there's no way. Like they may go into two and then freaking attach it like a diamond during the end phase and then detach three during your turn. <laughs> But no, you might as well just say I saw someone do it on the show. Yeah, so yeah. At this why point, like, no one believes you. you. It's literally three to one. Like, no, 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 no. I actually have a screenshot of that once. Like, I was in raided, and I was doing something with Utopia, or no, my opponent was doing something with Utopia, and then they did something they couldn't do, and I'm like, you can't do that, and they're like, 
Yuma did it on Zexel. Excuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is like the same like, thing. I'm, I don't know. Like I, I don't. Need, I like. I get it. I get it. You don't like that mess plate, but you act like one. You act like I lost. It, it, it wasn't like this. <laughs> yeah, one. You act like I lost. And two, because I won that duel, despite me was playing, I still won. My opponent quit. And two, you act like the video wasn't entertaining. Like, like I said, I've never proclaimed that I'm the best Yu-Gi-Oh player. I'm actually not the greatest. And when it, especially when it comes to decks that I've never played with daily duels, you guys think that oh, a deck gets voted on daily duels, and Daniel makes the deck and play test and play test and play test and make sure that he does really well when he records it for YouTube. No, <laughs> no, I don't play test at all. I, 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 no, I rare, <laughs> if I'm not recording for Yu-Gi-Oh, as I'm not recording, I'm not playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Straight up. All them times where you see uh, random decks, like, and you see my my username, and you're like, oh, yeah, you must be a huge fan. Nine times out of ten, it's probably Rennie just playing on my account. <laughs> Rennie, tru oh, Rennie troubleshoots the things that I do. Like, Blue Eyes? Rennie did that. <laughs> like, uh, no, 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 no. So, uh, like I said, and I never proclaim an expert. And for, for goodness sakes... So look me in the depths of my soul and tell me that DDD isn't one of the hardest fucking decks to play. Well, I can't see you right now. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> that that deck, that fucking deck is oh my fucking... God. It's, it's like an essay. <laughs> it is. It is like shit. It's like homework. There's so many plays to do and there's so many things you can do and it's just like you can do this and that, that this, this and that and you can just do everything. That is a very oh, skilled deck. Hold on, deck. we have a play happening. What? We, we, you wouldn't the opponent get to actually made a play. Materials if it needs, that would be broke. Like, what? I, I understand. I understand what you, you put by that. Like, we clearly know that Ptolemyos doesn't matter if you need two or three. It's broken. It should be banned. So, yeah. No one gives a shit. You could make it with two. It'd be, yeah, it'd definitely yeah. be banned. It would have been, been banned a long time ago. It would have been banned a long time ago. Like, what the fuck is the point of playing Custodes? You just go summon, summon, XC, detach two, and then bam, there's please right there. Like, at least make it work, work it a little bit. So was that a normal summon special summon, I'm assuming, with Hat Tricker? So you still got the additional normal summon off of uh, uh, still the Gem Knight, right? I'm assuming. Unless he normal summoned the Hat Trigger. Um, I'm assuming he special summoned the Hat Trigger and normal summoned the Clown, yeah. <clears throat> Probably going to search that level 1 X Saber guy and then make a... Yeah, yeah there you go. I'm in, I'm in agreement when it comes to uh, OCG. They handled it correctly. At first I was like, oh my god, just being infinity, fuck this shit, but... Yeah, if if you want to go ahead and play your Cyber Dragon deck, if you want to go ahead and play your freaking uh, uh, Dino Mist, more power to you, more power to you. <laughs> you know, but when you have, yeah. it's like one in Quasar Ban. Yeah, it's like one in Quasar when, Ban. When you could just limit Soul Charge and then you know solve a problem that way. Well, that Soul Charge isn't. It's still a problem, but it's not as much as it was. Yeah, or that rekindling. That's different. <laughs> That's different. Okay. Only only two decks can. Okay. Three decks, but one of them sucks. So only two real decks can use that card. Yep. Wow. And he's just like, well, scoop, scoop. Uh, so, he uh, fucked up with the Patola Miles. So there yeah. you go, people. I, I explained the ratio. I explained it. He didn't even... Uh, does he even run a uh, Teller Knight in his extra deck? I guess I not. I guess not, cause I, or he just doesn't know. I guess he just assumed that you could just attach two. Like, I don't even know where you get this idea. You're playing <laughs> Pepe, but you're not doing it properly. I, I explained the ratio. Did he have did he have the deck? Yeah, he had the deck. Did he have the luck? Well, I can't really determine on here, but it seemed like he, he wasn't completely stumped, so he had the luck. But did he have the skill? Nope. And that's why he nope. lost. <laughs> like, I, like <laughs> where have you been? You act like Ptolemyos came out fucking yesterday. Ptolemyos has, has, has been out at least for a year. <laughs> so you should know what he does. You're like, oh, no, it's two. Like, it says clearly on the card, three. Hey, reading is hard for some people. Oh, God, people. So... <laughs> We all know one of the qualifications for this game is that you can't read. I said that. Me, for example, I can't read, so I'm allowed to play. I can, I can read. It's just I, it doesn't click. Like I, clearly, it doesn't click. <laughs> so uh, my viewers are all critical. Like uh, I'm not sure how much longer I'll have to hide the dislike bar when it comes to the endo commentary. It's been clearing up lately. It seems like when I hide the dislike bar, it clears up. Like I might get like one to two dislikes, but when I Shh, give, don't tell when I give the chance <laughs> to see, oh my god, they fucking destroy it. So. I said, sorry, sorry, I'm not the best, I'm not the world's best Yu-Gi-Oh player. I apologize. I, I, I consider myself uh, uh, intelligent at times, but, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. At least I realize Nobody's my mistakes. Nobody's perfect. I gotta work But my viewers it. want me to be perfect. Get again till I get it right. Nah. My viewers want me to be perfect. 
Well, your viewers have never watched Hannah Montana. Like, shit. Like, uh, I don't I don't see fucking <laughs> Asian eyes getting fucking crucified like I do. Like, I damn. <laughs> but I guess, I but guess Asian fair, eyes are notorious for being probably bad. gets more dislikes than... He gets more dislikes than you, but he gets... More views. The likes to compensate for yeah. it. I don't, I don't, ha- I don't have a fucking Yubo Mastery fucking fan base. I don't hear fucking people going around saying like fucking Yubo Mastery is the best. And if you think that Yubo Mastery is wrong, then you can fucking kill yourself. But then, <laughs> <laughs> whatever, it's fine. I don't care because the dislikes of you and the view is a dislike, so I don't really care. It's just I, I try to entertain you guys. So yeah. yeah. Oh my God, head ass man! You need to detach three to use. Uh, his Did he effect, PM you? Yeah, his effect. Which oh my god, <laughs> which will allow you to uh, summon Nova, then put Infinity on top. Has to be three. He asked me. He, he literally asked me. So he's like, "So how can you summon Cyber?" Like, wow. There you go, people. <sighs> Guy playing that full power puppet that doesn't even know how to make uh, an infinity <laughs> off of Patola Miles. Like you know, you know what? Just stick with the two level five machines in Nova. Like wow, that was just mm. yeah. <laughs> He's like, I see, I see. <laughs> you, what's your rating? Wasn't his rating like a thousand plus? Like, yeah, it's, it's man. 11, it's... <laughs> oh. In matches too. Wow. That's higher than me right wow. now. Wow. All right. I think it's higher than me. I don't know. <laughs> All right, then. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I hope you guys got a laugh at it. Like I said, I, I, I feel that you might be able to do something with the whole, uh, 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 the Patrick thing, the, the Patrick deck, the Patrick Star deck. But, uh, like I said, it depends on the ban list. It really does. Like, the way I'm predicting it, it might, That's it true. might take a, a, a hatchet to even that deck, so. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Mr. Forever Epic, for joining me. Yay! <laughs> Not thank you, just yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, link in the description to his channel so you can go ahead and check out his content. And I will be back next week with some more Dando commentary. All right, people, thanks for watching.